Loafing large in layabouts. Well, I was just having a bit of grub. You had dinner. Dinner? Yeah. You're supposed to be due out five minutes ago. We couldn't. The chips weren't ready. <laughs> no, no, you're me. I'll see you later. Good boy. Let's have another go. Oh, look, we're five on. Chips. What? Yeah, you're on, mate. You're supposed to be running a service. What about the poor bloom in public? Let him get their own chips. <laughs> Wait. Come on, get that off me, Doug. Come on. Jump to it. You check the top deck, have you? Of course I have. I don't believe you. I'll check it myself. You two change the destination boards and get that lock cleaned up by the way. Come on. Here, Blakey. Lend us your pencil, will you? I want to fill in my way, Bill. Yeah, it's a back to that. Just right for stirring on tea, eh? Come on, get that chicken balls, mate. I'll give you a hand. Come on, in. Give it a while. I'll tell you when. Go on, in. Right, where are we? No, where are we? Right, no, back. Back. Back a bit. Hurry up. Back there. That'll do. We'll go there. <laughs> This tea tastes funny. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Before you stirred the tea with that pencil, he had it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there might not be an antidote for it. <laughs> you sure he had this in his mouth? Of course not, did. But look, you can see his teeth marks in the end of the pencil. <laughs> the one they call him Dracula. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, God! Oh, what's happening to him? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hello, Blakey, what's up? What's oh. up? He slipped on the chips. Oh. <laughs> Blimey, we can't eat them now. Hey, perhaps he's broken something. Yeah, yes, yeah, look. He's slipped on them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. He, uh, he don't look too good to me. Never did. <laughs> then get the first aid book, mate. Yeah, all right, yeah. What do you want? Oh, go home! Oh. Look up, Paul. Look up, Paul. I'll take his leg out. Oh, no, 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 leave it. You've got to have it. Leave it! Ah! <laughs> That's it. Right now, then. What's it say? Here we are. Fools. Untold damage can be done by moving an injured person. Don't attempt to change the position of the victim until the nature of, nature of the injury is known. Otherwise... <coughs> Otherwise what? I don't know, next page's been torn out. I'll tell you what, I'll find me the damage is done then. Six me leg. Oh, no, it's your leg, Blakey. Hang on a minute, mate. I think. Does it hurt there? Yeah, no, how about this? Ow! Oh! It's, oh! That's it. It's his knee. Look, watch it. Watch it. Oh! It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Ow! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Well, I can't compress on that. Yeah, right. Stick that on. Have you got any cold water? Where the hell am I going to get cold water from? Oh, it's all right. My tea's stone cold. We'll use that. <laughs> you can't put that all over me. Go out a bit, McCall. It's canteen tea. Kills all known germs. <laughs> How am I going to get it up his leg then? We'll shove it up his trousers. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. No, wait a minute. He's, he's too tall. I can't get it up there. Uh, I've got an idea. Hang on. Oh. Hold your coat a minute, Blakey. Uh, oh, yeah. Come on, what's it doing? You can't get the public place, sir. What are you talking about? I'm trying to get a cold compressor. 
press on your knee. Now, look here. If I can't shove it down and I can't shove it up, how am I going to get it on there? Uh, how do you feel about swallowing it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll roll his trousers leg up as far as I can get it. And then... Uh, oh. Ooh, here. Oh. Here, look at that. Oh. He's got a nasty gash on his leg, hasn't he? Get some plaster, oh. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Take that stuff off. I'll just get the bits off. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Lord. I never could do that properly. Yeah. Just like bread and jam, always goes the wrong side up, doesn't it? Yeah. Never mind. You can't use that now. It's not sterile. You're talking about this bus was scrubbed this morning. <laughs> right. You take it off. Take it off. Hey. Take it off. I'll just put it on. Well, take it off again. All right then. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, but... <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> get that cap and get me back to the depot, go on. Yeah, all right, then. Is there anything else we can do for you, Blackie? <laughs> Listen, give me my pencil back. I'm putting all of them down my report about you two. Oh, blimey, he's getting better, isn't he? <coughs> no! <laughs> you couldn't stick your leg out, should you? Come on in. 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 Come
He saw you were treating him, he soon would have, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not that you want a public servant driving a bus. It's up to you to know how to cope with sprains and fractures. Yes, and burns. Yeah. Burns? Yes. Well, what wouldn't about burns for? Well, it can happen very easily. Only yesterday I upset a saucepan full of sprouts. Blimey, like we don't get saucepans of sprouts on the bus, do we? <laughs> no, mate, but you do carry vast quantities of inflammable fuel. Yeah. Well, as it so happens, Mr Clever Bunce, I do know how to treat burns. Oh? Yeah. You put Marge on them. <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of rot you two talk. No, Arthur, he's perfectly right. Yeah. I always put Marge on their burns when they was little. Here, do you remember the time Olive sat on the poker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I massaged her little bottom with Marge. <laughs> little bottom, that strains the imagination. <laughs> anyway, that Marge took the burn right out. Oh, no, it didn't. I've still got a scar. I've never seen it. Well, you've only, you've only been married nine years, haven't you? <laughs> well, as I got older, the skin stretched and it moved and it came round to my stomach. Must have made a very long journey. <laughs> Arthur, I'll show it to you tonight, Arthur. You do that loving and I'll treat him for shock. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, anyway, old Hitler may never walk again with a bit of luck. Oh, poor love. <laughs> See you, Noel. Ta-ra. Morning, Jack. Nice morning this morning. It's not, you know, look. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula walks again. They should have put more nails in his coffin. <laughs> Get back out. Come on. Blakey, how's the knee, then? Doctor says I've, uh... Strained a ligament in it. Yeah, well, you can easily do that, you know, when you got your leg twisted under you like you had it. I didn't do it when I had it twisted under me. I did it when you straightened it out. <laughs> Get out of my <laughs> I've got an official notice here from the office. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It concerns you, too. Yeah, read it, Jack. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? It has come to the notice of the management that some busmen have not studied a first aid manual. All bus crews will therefore be tested on their first aid knowledge as and when notified. Where will that be? For you to. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to test us then? I am. <laughs> <laughs> you? What do you know about the subject? I've been a victim, haven't I? <laughs> That's what I know about it. And anyone who don't pass a test is going to be delegated to other filthy tasks, i.e. cleaning or maintenance. <laughs> oh, Blakey, look, I've, I've got a date with a bird tonight. So? Well, I mean, uh, I won't have time to study the first day, will I? Right, so I ain't always you know, practice that bit about stretching them out and loosening their clothing. Oh, go on. <laughs> now, what I meant, Blakey, listen. Look, if I haven't got time to study the manual, do I get extra time? Oh, yes, yes, you can have all the time in the world, Blakey. Oh, good, yeah. Because if, you if you're not ready to take the test tomorrow morning, you're going to be suspended. <laughs> <laughs> upsets me to see him like that, Jack. That's all right, it's only strain his leg. That's what upsets me. <laughs> he should have broken his flaming neck. <laughs> Suspected fracture. Uh, place casualty in comfortable position with injured part well supported. Don't give the don't give the patient anything to eat or drink because they may be shortly be having an anaesthetic. If the patient ah, oh, I'll never learn it on my own. Uh... Arthur. Plum, he goes to bed to die, this fella. <laughs> what do you want? It's gone midnight. <laughs> Arthur, I've got to learn my first aid by tomorrow morning. I'll never do it. Give us a hand, will you? Well, that is your fault, mate. You should have studied it earlier. I suppose you were out wasting your time on some bird. You are dead right. She was a complete loss. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, but I'm going back to bed to get some shut-eye. Oh, right. oh, Arthur, there you are. I've had me bath. You coming to bed? Eh? <laughs> um, yeah, um, no. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I was going to help Stan here with his first aid. How long are you going to be? About half an hour. But I've used that new soap and scented bath oil. I've had a glamour bath. Have you really? You didn't stay in long enough. That was so rude. Look, it's made my skin all soft and smooth. Yeah, it's brought out the exotic radiance of your chill planes, hasn't it? <laughs> right, let's get on with it then. Yeah, now then. What do you get up to? Uh, page two, uh, a, a bit about fractures. Yeah. Right. How do you make a sling? 
A sling? Yes, a sling. They're bound to ask you that. Well, blimey, I ain't got nothing to make one with, have I? Well, you just have to improvise, won't you? They must... Here, give us those tights. <laughs> there we are. Oh, Arthur, that's not right. You're wearing my tights around your neck like that. Well, it's all right, love, as long as you're not in them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get on with it. Get on with it. Here. Here, this is a smashing idea of yours, Arthur. I mean, if we happen to have a casualty on the bus, you see, I nip up to the, uh, the nearest bird, whip my tights off and say it's an emergency. <laughs> hey, do, you, do, you, do you mind stop drooling and get on with it? Yeah, all right. <laughs> How's it then, look? It says here the hand should be pointed up to the shoulder. How's that? <laughs> Where you stop messing about? I wasn't messing I about. I won't help. Oh, let's get on with the next thing. <coughs> Emerage and bleeding. Right. Right. You've got to act fast to save someone's life. What do you do? Uh, uh, come on, come on. Oh, all right, that's right. Uh, Put a sticking blaster on it. Huh? <laughs> sticking blaster's not going to help a cut artery, is it, mate? You've got to put pressure on the pressure points. You've got to learn where they are. You want to practice on someone? But I ain't got nobody to practice on, have I? Huh? Olive, lie on the bed. <laughs> I said lie on the bed. <laughs> Don't get excited, love. Just practice being a patient. <laughs> right. Now then, tell me where you'd press to stop the blood gushing out her foot, say. Yeah. Uh, there? No. There? <laughs> there. My good man, higher up. <laughs> You're a husband, you do it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I see oh, All right, there. Yeah. I will show you. You press very firmly. There. Oh, Arthur, are you sure that's the right place? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you show me that. Right. If the blood's gushing out, yeah. you press firmly there. No, you don't. You press there while you're pressing there. That's squirting out all over the place, doesn't it? It's off gush. Oh, Arthur, please, I feel all funny. Get it up, mate. I mean, you know how squeamish is about things like that. You and all, all your talk about gushing here and gushing well, everywhere. It, it does, mate. Look, the human body contains ten pints of blood. Well, you're carrying on to me down to a last spoonful. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, will you stop it? Gushing here and gushing there. You can't lose all that amount, but it can't all come out. Oh, yes, it can. All right, what about the guillotine, then? Oh, well, mate? when they chopped the bloke's head off, blood came gushing up through a big hole in his neck. <laughs> oh, really are. It's like a great big pump. If it gave an extra pump, the executioner got another eyeful, I suppose. <laughs> There's no need to be for sex. Oh, I feel Blimey, she's fainted. Well, you're she's doing first aid. What do you do? Oh, I ain't got up in that bit yet. <laughs> well, I can tell you what, mate. The first thing you don't do is panic. Well, it is quite simple. You just put the head down in between the knees. What's that do? Let's the blood come back to the head. Blimey, you're off about the blood again. Will you turn it oh. in? You yeah, can't get it down. Why not? <laughs> her stomach's in the way. <laughs> Well, if you can't get her head to her knees, let's get her knees to her head, then. Come out of it. How's that? Oh, don't be so stupid. Well, you've got to get it down. It's the head that has to go down between the knees. Oh, she's got her head. Right, right, right. There we are, sunshine all over. Are you right? See, that was the shock of the head. The blood coming back to the head that brought her around. Yeah, it's a shock of you kissing and it brought her around, mate. <laughs> right, oh, sunshine, let's get you back to bed. Right. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh, blimey, I've gone all dizzy. Oh, oh blimey, she's fainted again. Oh, well, pick her up and put her on the bed. You must be joking, she weighs half a ton. Give us an egg. Pick her up and put her on the bed and I'll look up rapture for you. <laughs> rapture. <laughs> dizzy, dizzy spells, dizzy spells. Dizzy spells. Blimey, it says I'm on the turn. <laughs> Well, Blakey, we passed the test. I bet that pleased you. Oh, yeah. Set me right back, that did. Yeah. Just as my leg was getting better and all. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you were very lucky that it was in Inspector Gardner who tested you, though, I tell you that much. What was that? I'd have fouled you for a certainty. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've got a nice new little box there. Yeah, yeah. Now, you see you keep that tiddly tidy this time. Yeah, tiddly tidy. All this first day's a load of rubbish, really. I mean, with me driving, when do we ever have an accident? You tell me, when was the last time we had an accident? I see you had one yesterday. Hey? You came in on time. <laughs> <laughs> Get that bus out, come on. Oh, no. Well, don't you worry, from now on, Blakey, we can cure broken arms, broken legs, dislocated shoulders, crushed ribs, even a broken neck. Yeah. 
I'd like to see you do that, mate. Would you? Stand in front of that bus and I'll give you the lot. Ding, ding, the bell for. Well, you did better at first aid of me, didn't you? Yeah, but what's that got to do with it? No, anything about babies. Well, a little bit. What's wrong with it? <laughs> I don't know. He's not born yet. <laughs> hey? There's a woman upstairs just about to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll run up to the hospital. I'll run no, up. no, no, there's no time for that, mate. I'll just send that kid for the ambulance. You better get up there, see what he can do. Give her a hand. <laughs> me? <laughs> you must be potty, mate. <laughs> I can't even get a bit of grit out of a person's eye. <laughs> Listen, it's not our responsibility. Oh, you? yes, it is. She's paid her fare. <laughs> well, give her a mind and tell her to get off. <laughs> Look, mate, she is about to have it upstairs any minute now. <laughs> but she can't. <laughs> Is anybody up here with her? Yeah, there's some dame with her. Thank God for that. Oh, here she is now. Oh. I think I can cope with this. I happen to be a nurse. Oh, good. Have you got a first aid box? Oh, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Get it, get it, get it, mate. Get it. Yeah, one, one. Yeah, let's have a look. Come here, Mr. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, a pair of tweezers. I to deliver the woman's baby. Not pluck her eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> this is all your fault. My fault? Why? You went too fast down Green Lane, over that humpback bridge. I'm <laughs> <laughs> back with nothing on the roof. God knows what's happened to the babies. <laughs> I really do. I shall have to have some help. One of you will have to come up. Yeah, well, my mate's very good at first aid. Hey? No, I'm, I'm just a driver. I'm only a driver. Driver? Yeah. Good. You'll have a good, firm grip. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair. I mean, I can't go up there. I mean, I'm not the father. Well, neither am I. <laughs> Regular, there's a 50 50 charge you are. <laughs> Long driver, I want your assistance. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, I'll keep an eye on for the ambulance. Yeah, it's not fair. I mean, I mean, I only just passed me first aid this morning. Driver, come along. Go on, you've got good, strong hands. How about feeling them round your throat, eh? <laughs> It's the most marvellous experience you've ever had in my life. Oh. <laughs> 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 